Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things about money, mindset, building the most unforgettable life by being your own boss and making your own money so you can actually live life because that is what life is about. So I am in my bathroom. We are getting ready. I'm actually going out for a friend's birthday. So I'm going to do a get ready with me while I also answer all of your guys' questions I posted on my Instagram story, basically just doing a Q&A, ask me anything about like life, business, and I'm going to answer all your questions. So let's do that while I get ready. Okay, so the first question I got was, well, I think that's supposed to say how. How do you stay consistent? How to deal with procrastination? So I love this question because coming from somebody where she wants to do a lot of things right she's very ambitious and i always 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 want to be like productive i always want to get things done for me like first of all let me answer the first portion of the question when it comes to like consistency one of the reasons i am so consistent in my life is because I have a greater purpose than just doing the action. So for an example, in my business, of course, I have to be creating content and posting every day in order to build my personal brand and or to make money and of course, help a lot of people. So for me, if I woke up every single morning and I'm like, oh, now I have to wake up, I have to create content, I have to shoot this video. And I looked at everything as like kind of dreadful versus doing it in a way that's actually exciting. Then I wouldn't really want to do it, right? It's like if you look at something that's more so of like a chore, you really don't want to do that thing. And of course, you're not going to stay consistent with it. So for me, when I look at my business and when I look at consistency, I don't really look at it as something I have to do. I look at it as something as like I get to do. And I'm also going to show you guys what I'm using. So before I always put on makeup, I put on um, sunscreen on my face because living in Florida, like I used to never get freckles. I have so many freckles on my face. So this is basically, this is what I use. It's light medium SPF 30 and it's like tinted. So it gives me a really good glow before I put on my makeup. Now when it comes to like the piece of procrastination, procrastination people procrastinate because of two things number one they don't know actually like how to do the action that they're about to take or they're afraid of what could happen if they actually take that action so if you don't know what action to take like you can literally google it we're on youtube right you can youtube how to do anything how to start a business you can youtube how to get in a relationship you can youtube how to put on makeup like you can youtube literally everything so one thing that you always want to ask yourself is bring awareness to why you're actually procrastinating because when you know why you're doing it it's much easier for you to stop doing it so if you don't know how to do something figure it out and then the second portion of it is if you're scared of what could happen after you do that thing 99.9 percent .9 of the time it is just fear that's made up in our mind because if we think of the scenario that could happen how likely is it actually like going to happen usually it's only like 90 percent of the time and like the rest of the time what you want is actually going to happen after you take that action and that's something i've always told myself every Every time I'm like being lazy or I don't want to do something or like I feel like that I am procrastinating, I will always tell myself, okay, the reason why I'm doing it is because I'm just like honestly either being lazy, I'm afraid something's going to happen or also I'm just like being too perfect about it. And if that's the case, I just simply tell myself that and I get up and I do it. Like as simple as that, you really don't need to do anything else except just like get up and take that action. Okay, that was a long-winded answer to that question. But the second question that we have is, when I love this one, how to add in a relationship and not hurt your business? I love this question because being an entrepreneur for so many years, when I got into my relationship with Andy four years ago in 2020, I was actually really resistant in getting into that relationship because, because of course, if you know me, like, I love work, right? Like I love building my business. I love inspiring. I love creating content. So to add on something else to it, it was scary to do. And I just put on concealer, by the way, I use NARS. It's like the best one. Now I'm going to kind of like contour slash bronze my face. But like, I think the most important thing about relationships is the type of person that you actually choose. I have been in relationships in the past where that person actually like did not support 
me and my business and actually tore my confidence apart, especially when it came to creating content. Like, just like wasn't for it, wouldn't help me create content. Like Andy, when he came along, he was so supportive in me building my business, helped me create content, actually wanted to learn from me. So I think it's less about like adding on a relationship that doesn't take away from your business, but adding on a relationship that actually supports your business. Because when you have someone that's actually gonna support you and your business, that's all you basically have to focus on. Because for me, like my life doesn't revolve around my business, like my business, revolves around my life like my life comes first so for me i always want to be with somebody who also has that like same value that i do as well so entrepreneurs business owners even just the ladies that are listening that are trying to find like the perfect relationship for you you really want to ask yourself does this person support me and my future and my business and my career and basically how i want to live my life and if they don't like <laughs> that person's not for you because I will tell you I spent a lot of time trying to make relationships work where I like honestly I knew it just wasn't gonna work but of course knowing me like I never give up and I always put in my all but at the end of the day it's like you will know you will know the person that is perfect for you when they come along and it does not even feel like that relationship is taken away from your business. Okay, contoured, I bronzed up. Now the next question that we have is, what do you use on your hair? It's so healthy. So I'm actually gonna do my hair right now, but quite honestly, I don't really put product in my hair. Um, the shampoo that I use that's over here, I'll show you guys right now. Let's get into my shower. So this is what I use for shampoo. It's a black, um, black Jamaican castor oil shampoo. Honestly, it's so good. It's moisture and growth, but quite honestly, like I naturally have really healthy, thick, silky hair, and I don't really put anything on it. Even like, even though I probably should, even when I do my hair, um, I don't always put on like heat protectant. <laughs> I think I'm actually out of it. So I'm gonna be curling my hair, but I don't have a heat protectant right now. Um, but like I always tell people like if you want to have healthy hair like don't really do much with it Like this is my virgin hair. I've never dyed it before and of course it kind of just comes with like Genetics, I'm Indian. So like I naturally have like a lot of thick just like healthy hair Okay, but a few of you guys asked me what I used to like style my hair I usually use my Dyson. So I got my Dyson it's literally the best thing ever. I already washed my hair and I already dried it, so I didn't record that for you guys. Um, but I'm gonna just use my curler to give me some like curls. I actually might put up my hair um, for the birthday dinner that I'm about to go to. But yeah, I don't really put like anything on my hair. I just always keep it healthy and I don't really like use dyes or anything. Okay, I have my phone down here. So next question is, what would you do if you didn't know what business to start we're powdering right now i always ask myself like what i would do if i was basically starting from scratch and i had like a blank state i always tell my clients if you don't know what business to start you want to start by asking yourself what do you absolutely like love to do like what is something that you would just enjoy doing that doesn't really feel like work and make a list of that and for some people it might be like like putting on makeup for others that might be swimming for you it might be like driving it might be reading books it might be writing books right like think of a list of things that you absolutely love to do and then from there think about is there some way that you can do that thing and get paid to do it right so for an example let's say you absolutely just like love everything about like kids right or maybe you love everything about like fashion you can get paid to be like a nanny for like high-end like couples and families even like entrepreneurial um families and couples and you can like travel with them and kind of be just like that nanny for those kids um or what you can do is if like you love fashion and you want to be um like a stylist for them you can even create like your own digital product on like how to style yourself based on if you're like petite you're tall you have a certain like body shape and i guarantee you there are going to be so many people reaching out to you and buying your product because they also want to learn that thing the reason why i teach um like my nose i like 
messed up a little bit. I gotta say, this is one of the first times, side note, this is one of the first times I'm doing a YouTube, like, get ready with me answering questions. And I gotta say, it's a little bit difficult doing my makeup and <laughs> answering these questions, um, but it's fun and I like doing it. Um, but what I was saying, I gotta say, when it comes to, like, having a personal brand around what you just love to do and you get paid to honestly just, like, live and do whatever you want, it feels really, really good. Because for me personally, if you're like me, I'm multi-passionate. I love to do a lot of things. Of course, my, like, main business is you guys helping all of you build a personal brand and make your own money. But, of course, like, I also love makeup. I love fashion. I love, like, content creation. I love to travel like I love all of these things and my brain is wrapped around all of these things so if I was starting my business from scratch or if you are trying to figure out what you want to do start with your passions and then start to think about how can you get paid for these specific passions and I'm gonna link like maybe two of my videos of talking about different businesses that you can start this year okay so now that we've powdered and what i use for powder is huda beauty um it's honestly like the best i love it so much so what i'm gonna do now usually when i'm baking with my powder i'll do my hair so let's do a timeline I just finished curling almost all of my hair. I actually might do like an updo. So I usually don't care, like curl the front. Um, like I might like pull my hair up in like a bun or something. So I'm gonna wait to curl the front of my hair. Otherwise it's just gonna like mess it up. So this is how it looks curled. So pretty, I love it. So let's finish the rest of the questions and the rest of my makeup. So. For the time being, I'm just going to put my hair back again. And this also, side note, if you do your hair and you clip it back while you finish your makeup, it's going to give you so much more volume. Okay? Thank me later. So the next question we have is, do you take breaks when you work? Now I got to say, if I don't take breaks, I would go absolutely crazy. The thing is, of course, I'm on social media and I post on, of course, videos, stories on my feed here on YouTube and people only see probably like 20% of my life because I'm really not on social media that much. And for me now, after changing my business model where I don't really take on many one-on-one -on -one clients anymore my main like offer that sells is my membership monetary social membership where i basically help people build their brands make money online that's honestly very like passive and for me all i really have to do every single day to maintain that and now really focus on growing my youtube and growing my brand it only really requires me to work like a few hours a day now, of course, knowing me, I am always working on different projects. I'm always creating more content for all of you because I love doing that. Like, the reason why I chose this career is because I absolutely love to do it and it doesn't really feel like work. But quite honestly, I probably take five breaks a day and I, I don't even want to call them breaks because I create content and I work while I'm on break. You know, it's like, if I'm at the pool or even if I'm having lunch, like I'll be on my phone and I'll be responding to your guys' comments. I'll be sending out links to those who want to join my membership. Like I'll even be sometimes editing like reels and TikToks and YouTube videos. So for me, like my breaks, it's like very fluid. I don't know if this comment was focused on do you take like days off or just like breaks throughout the day. But like even on my days off, like I'll still like post content and I'll still check my social media because for me, it honestly doesn't really even feel like work. 
Okay. So I just did my eyeshadow. As you can see, I'm going to finish doing my eyes off camera because honestly, eyeliner is hard doing on camera and I need all the concentration. Just finished my eye makeup. I don't know if you guys are able to see it. Let me show you guys in better light, actually. Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. It turned out amazing. Just something like simple for this birthday dinner because it's pretty casual. I don't want to go too crazy. Okay, so what I need to finish now, we I think we have like one more question, and I just honestly I finished basically everything else. I just need to do like my lips and then I need to finish my hair. So and the last question I'm going to answer is, oh, I love this one. Your favorite ways to manifest money. Okay. So one thing that I actually do almost every single day is right here. I will look at myself. Let me actually shift this. Can you guys see the mirror a little bit? I don't know how this thing. Oh, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, so one thing that I will do every single day is I will do mirror work. What this really helps you to do is be one with your manifestations and with your desires. So if you want to manifest money, you have to actually believe that you can manifest a lot of money and you actually have to be somebody who is worthy enough to receive that money in whatever way that you actually want to receive it. So I will stand here every single morning and I will say to myself, I am a money magnet money flows to me in all different ways the more i relax the more i receive i get paid to exist every single time i post on social media people are paying me money and every time i pick up my phone there are dozens of payment notifications that are coming my way and the thing about doing a mirror work and actually saying these things to yourself and looking at yourself in the eye you will actually start to believe it like i will tell you in the beginning it might feel like a little weird and a little awkward i know it did for me but over time like that is just like your talk tracks that you when you go out to a restaurant or you're going shopping and you're paying for something that will go through your mind so you won't have the fear of spending money you won't have the fear of running out of money because money is always for you and money is just so abundant so that is like by far one of one of like, I don't even want to say one of my favorite ways, but a unique way that I like to manifest money. And then um, another way I really like to manifest money is writing down all the reasons why money loves me and all the reasons why I'm worthy of receiving the amount of money that I actually want. So for an example, if you are trying to, let's say you want to manifest i'm gonna also start to do my hair because i gotta go soon so let's say for an example you want to manifest ten thousand dollars now what we will do or what people will typically do is write down all the reasons how you can get other people to pay you that money so instead of thinking about all of the reasons and all of the how to's like how how can i get other people to pay me or how can I get other people to follow me? Instead of doing that, write down all the reasons why other people are gonna pay you money and all the reasons why your desire actually needs you. Like, why does the $10,000 need you? Why do people need to follow you? Why do people need to pay you money? When you look at it from that way, it's like, I promise you, it's 10 times easier to manifest because you're no longer looking at it from a state of, I do not have and I am the person that is chasing, but it's actually you are attracting because you do not ever chase. Okay guys, and this is the finished look. I ended up just like fixing my hair, just putting it up, finishing my makeup. Let me guys, let me show you guys like a better look. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. So pretty. If you guys loved this like get ready with me Q&A session, make sure to follow my Instagram. I usually um, post a poll on there doing a Q&A so that way you guys can ask me questions. 
and then I can record a video just like this to post it on YouTube. So as always, make sure to follow, subscribe, comment below. Also, let me know if you have any additional questions based on what I talked about today. And I'm going to go get ready for my friend's birthday dinner. I was going to say my birthday dinner, my friend's birthday dinner. So I will see you guys in the next video. And until next time, make sure that you stay unforgettable.